LDL, aka the bad cholesterol, really is bad, but oxidized LDL may be even worse. Cholesterol oxidation products are associated with the initiation and progression of multiple major chronic diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and kidney failure. So what can we do to ensure cholesterol isn't oxidized in our food that we eat? In this video, I'm gonna be discussing how to best prepare food, including animal products and vegetables to prevent cholesterol oxidation to help lower LDL cholesterol levels. Hello superhumans, if you're new here, my name is Dr. Tessa Spencer. I'm a licensed and practicing pharmacist as well as a NASM certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. And my method for achieving success in my clients is simple. I use evidence-based nutrition, exercise, superfood supplements, and lifestyle coaching to optimize and personalize their health. If this video helps you in any way, I would really love it if you could like it or share it with anyone who might benefit from utilizing this knowledge. Finally, it's important to note that natural remedies, superfood supplements, all of these can interact with certain disease states and medications. So make sure you're talking with your own healthcare professional or pharmacist before supplementing with anything. All right, so let's start with a little bit of background knowledge because this concept of oxidized cholesterol may be new to some people. Oxidized cholesterol is produced when animal products are heated. Oxidized cholesterols tend to increase after exposure to pro-oxidizing agents such as light. So unless you keep your meat in some sort of vacuum packed in a dark refrigerator or freezer, oxygen alone can shoot up the oxidized cholesterol levels. White meat is more susceptible to cholesterol oxidation than red meat, and the same problem of cholesterol oxidation occurs with dairy, eggs, and egg powders found in packages foods with eggs in it. There are several measures that can be taken to reduce the cholesterol oxidation in foods like reducing total cholesterol content, not cooking food in butter, adding antioxidants to animal products when processing it, using as low as temperature as possible for cooking, or using some sort of opaque vacuum packaging. However, there's another way that is much easier than all of those steps. It is well known that increased fruit and vegetable consumption has been reported to reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, and strokes. While this may be in part because of the antioxidants in plant foods, indeed LDL oxidation resistance was found to be the greatest among those who are more plant Based. Put people on a whole foods diet for just three weeks and the rates and extent of LDL oxidation drops. The kale showed a protective effect against the oxidation of LDL cholesterol even in low concentrations. Even better, a study had a people eat a frozen bag of kale and cabbage a day for just two weeks and got significant reductions in total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and even blood sugar levels with a significant decrease in oxidized LDL cholesterol too. But how is plant food best prepared and eaten in order to optimize antioxidant content in order to help reduce and prevent the oxidation of cholesterol within other foods? The main purpose of cooking vegetables is to make them more edible, palatable, digestive, and bioavailable. The downside though is cooking oftentimes destroys certain nutrients, especially with heat sensitive or water soluble nutrients. Researchers looked at a variety of different cooking methods and concluded that steaming may be considered the best home cooking technique, but if you're looking to sustain the antioxidant capacity, don't try to ferment it. What about pressure cookers? They seem all the rage these days. Now what Dr. Michael Greger recommends in his book, How Not to dye is to pressure steam vegetables. Put a layer of water down at the bottom of an electric pressure cooker, drop in a metal steaming basket on top, and then put the greens in and steam under pressure. Set the steam pressure cooker to zero so it shuts off, it reached to cooking pressure, and then quickly release the valve and release the steam. The greens turn out perfect. They're that bright emerald green and they're still tender. If you take a step back, you'll realize that only foods that start out with cholesterol end up with oxidized cholesterol. So the primary terms in reducing cholesterol oxidation in foods may be to set our one's diet around whole plant foods, which don't have any cholesterol to get oxidized in the first place. If you want to learn about superfoods and supplements that have a clinical benefit and might be potentially beneficial to your health, I offer personalized supplement protocols which help people go from being confused and paying way too much for supplements that don't even work to being confident and reaching their health goals faster. I'm also taking on clients to be a part of my online personalized wellness coaching programs. My step-by-step -step online personalized wellness coaching programs are backed with proven results. I use evidence
vitamins-based nutrition, exercise, superfoods, and supplements to optimize your health. Make sure to click the link below in my description to book a free wellness consultation with me. It's about a 15 minute obligation free online meeting where I'm answering your questions and providing you solutions to your healthcare problems. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to put them below in my comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, keep living your worth.